Welcome back, everybody, to more Mandagon here on Additional Pawns Games. So, been doing a little bit of, I don't know, trying to deduce exactly what's going on with this last gate. So, obviously, you can see all the other gates are on top right, center, center right, bottom left, bottom right. They're all white, which means we've done them. Um, this one's the only one that's blue, which I'm guessing means, I don't know. I Here's my thought, though. Each of the tablets have been in a house, so we need to find the house that this tablet's in if we don't have it. So we've got these top three houses. I know I've been in the top left and the center one, because I, you know, I've gone past this multiple times. The top right one, I don't know if I've actually been in that one, um, so we might have to check that out. We've also got house to the like center right there on the far right of the screen. Um, there's no mouse pointer. This. Was be much easier with the mouse pointer. We've also got the house in the bottom right, which I think is the one where we started at, and the house in the bottom left, which I'm fairly certain we've already been to. So we're gonna try one of these, one of these top ones. Um, take a nice big jump, and we're just gonna start checking houses. So yeah, we've been here, got the tablet, good to go. <laughs> Water jets, a lot of fun. I also, interesting, the uh, the sound cuts out, the music cuts out every time you go in the water. There you go, it's just muted. It's a nice little touch. Try and squash a bird. Ooh, platformer skills, all right. Well, looks like we're going down, down, okay. And, uh, okay. <laughs> well, uh, oh, yeah, going down again. Looks like we're checking this middle right house. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's what I get for not playing a platformer since like Mario 64 or something like that. I don't know. Never been, never been my favorite genre, I guess. But all right, so it's not this house. We've already been here. Got cryptic speech, dude. Let's try getting up here. That's a lot of birds. It's like creepy. So I was kind of saying this last time, but um, I appreciate that this game isn't preachy. You know, it's not. It just kind of presents facts. Facts. It, it prevents their. It presents their viewpoint, right? It pre presents just what they're thinking. Take a look at the map here. Uh. Something in that, yeah, that top right house, or maybe one of the gray houses on the bottom, are the ones that we missed. It just presents their viewpoint. So let's go ahead and try and get it to that top right again. Uh, it just kind of presents their viewpoint though. And um, I don't know, it just promotes understanding. I really appreciate that. So I'm looking forward to uh, another game that I'm going to be doing here on the channel is uh, Five, uh, Guardians of David, so it talks about like the the life of King David, obviously from like King of Israel, Bible times, that sort of thing. What is this guy? All right. This is, yeah, this is the shut up and do what we tell you, tell them. Um, so I'm looking forward to that game too, Five Guardians of David. It's, uh, it's an action RPG actually, <laughs> which is probably not the first game, style of game that you think of when you uh, think of like games games based on uh you know historical biblical characters but i don't know and it, uh, again it's sort of the same thing I, i've read that it's it just kind of presents it presents like historical facts it presents like the historical side of bible characters and not necessarily like theological side of it so i'm i'm interested in exploring that one as well um kerrigan on the elevator so we've been here at this tablet before, but the house, yeah. So the house that I'm looking at is just below us, so let's take a nice jump. There we go. Scare some birds, let's go inside, and there it is, guys. There's the tablet we've been looking for. Got it. All right. Up to the left. Uh, can't get there. Okay. Try again. All right. We got our last tablet. We know where to go. Ride. What does this guy say? 
never-ending folding ocean, depth unknown, a child's devotion. Huh. Very cryptic messages, also very peaceful. Of endless new and timeless old, we must let go of these things we hold. It's very zen. At least it seems very zen. Right? Zen Buddhism is all about, like, ridding yourself of desires? Alright, big jump! Ooh! Look at his face. He's just, like, super excited going down. And I think we're going the right way. Yeah. There we go. We need to go to this guy. Get ourselves a power flight. Up we go. Up the magic ladder. And there it is. I don't know why this gate turned blue. Oh no, that threw me for a loop. But we finally did it. We got the last tablet. And that fills in the last of the side locks. Okay. Glowing statues. Good. I guess. I also just noticed that those little things floating around are butterflies. Yes, this gate is white. Oh, oh there's a teleport? Oh, good night. That would save me so much time. Oh, yeah. That little rock dude is awesome. You can teleport. And change from one tablet form to the other. Takes zero fall damage. But he can't get past an elevator. Alright, so let's see what is. Let's see what's going on here. Statue number one. Alright, activate the statue. Yeah, look at all these little butterflies. Statue number two. And. Okay. So that. That did the center two locks. It also enables us to go up top to do this statue. Yeah. Now we're getting somewhere, boys. Now we're getting somewhere. It's really pretty, actually. The way it's lighting up. And we turn around. So that's what the back of my stone head looks like. Is this the end? Okay. Doesn't seem like it's the end. Cutscene? Not cutscene. Alright. Oh. What? Huh. That's neat. This is pretty cool. So it seems like we're inside the mountain? Or something? Okay... Interesting. Uh, oh, okay. That one goes down again, so... Ooh! Ooh! Big elevator. Okay! Hey, listen. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help myself. I've known your path, watch your passing. The gift you left was not for naught. Piece of you stitched it into place. She will flourish now, her life anew. So, lung transplant is what I'm getting from this. And you have dry bones and restful eyes. Move onwards, upwards.
evermore. So with the music change, yeah, that seems to be it. So that's Mandagon, quick little, quick little platformer game, Blind Sky Studios. Lee, Tom, Richard, Rachel, thanks guys. Tom, don't look so scared, jeez. He's freaking out. Richard just looks smug, but yeah. Anyways, I really enjoyed that. I thought that was a nice experience. Um, I don't really know exactly what it means. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure what I got out of it. But I appreciate, I appreciate the time that, you know, that was put into making the game. I like it's nice to reach outside my normal genres, I guess, and uh, play a little platformer game. So that's Mandagon. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Is there anything that I missed? Anything that I, you know, forgot about? Anything that maybe I didn't pick up on as far as like the story or, or the lessons? Um, but I, I definitely enjoyed it. So try it out for yourself. It's free on Steam and uh, you can pick it up, download it, play it. And, you know, I beat it in just about 40 minutes and that's with uh, my terrible platforming skills. So anyways. That is Mandagon here on Additional Pollens Games. So hit like and subscribe if you want to see more and check out some of the other series going on in the channel. And uh, leave a comment below if it, with any uh, tips on how to improve my platforming skills or anything that I missed uh, playing through this game. So thanks again for tuning in, and we'll see you next time here on APG.